Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back today. I'm covering Volm Hub. So if you guys haven't heard of this, it's an amazing tool and we're going to dive into it and talk about it. Um, but there are some caveats to it and there's some reasons why I don't recommend it and I do recommend it. So let's go ahead and dive into it. If you guys like this content, if you guys are liking the videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's the only way the channel grows. It's the only way I can keep doing it with full-time work and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So first off, what is Volm Hub and why is it good? Well, Volm Hub is basically a repository, as you can see here, with a bunch of vulnerable machines, okay? So on the surface, it sounds bad, right? It sounds like, why would I wanna have a bunch of vulnerable machines out there? But the reality is, this allows you to download all these vulnerable machines and hack offline. Why is this so big? Well, number one, if you guys are like me, I travel a lot, um, especially with uh, different things I do. And when I'm traveling, I like to hack, right? We all do. But I don't like to do it, or I shouldn't say I don't like, I don't do it illegally, right? So it's very difficult when you're like sitting in a hotel at the end of the night and you have nothing to do. And, you know, and you're like, hey, I want to do something. Here you go. This is a lot of fun. The other big thing here is, you can have a bunch of people download the same machine and you can run virtually your own CTF in a sense, right? You don't have to make copies. You don't have to make your own. People made them for you, okay? The other, there's a couple of big things why this is so cool and so important is because some people don't have the money for Try Hack Me for, you know, Hack the Box. And a lot of those are paywalled. I know there's free tiers and there's free stuff, but a lot of the good machines are paywalled. Now, Here's the bad sides of, of the Volm Hub because I think Volm Hub is an amazing tool and I really like it. I've used it for a long time. But the bad side of it that I've noticed is number one, there's not going to be any, it's not try hack me, right? There's not going to be a walkthrough. It's not going to be a guide. It's going to be beat this box or don't. We don't really care because there is no real reason to do it besides enjoyment. So keep that in mind. The other thing I've noticed with it is it's a little clunky in the sense of see how this one says difficulty easy, difficulty easy, but some of them don't have a difficulty level. So I've noticed that like some people will use them or will download them and be like, okay, this is an easy box probably because it, the title sounds easy, but then you get into it and it's not super easy, right? Um, another big thing I've noticed is some of the boxes I've had issues with. I was going to actually do this box with... Um, the office one because I love the office and I actually mentioned it in my discord and some other people like the office too. So I was going to do the office one, um, to show you guys, but it would never take, it wouldn't get an IP address. So that's another thing is these boxes are created with, by other people, not professionally made in the sense of they're not being profited on. So keep that in mind in the set in the fact that like, they're probably not continued support. So like this one was in 2021, it's probably not been touched since then and it's gonna stay that way and that's okay. So you're gonna get some older vulnerabilities that you can check out too, that's really cool, that's fun. Um, but this is a really cool resource, really cool. Some of them have walkthroughs in them. Um, this is the one we're gonna walk through real quick. I'm not gonna walk through the whole CTF, I'm just gonna show you the setup. Um, and you can see there's some good information here that you wanna pay attention to. Number one, the biggest thing, okay, you got the difficulty, that's good. If you see the difficulty in there, that's good. That means they at least put enough time in to tell you that because some of them don't, right? This is another big one. The, this works better with VirtualBox than VMware. So you'll see that I'm running it in VirtualBox, okay? But I'm actually still running VMware for my Parrot OS operating system, which we're going to use to um, enumerate it, right? So here's the process. Here's how you'd go about it. And here's why it's so cool, right? I could download 50 of these, and I'm freaking set for... I don't have to get online for the next couple of weeks, right? I can have fun. So you find the ones you want. They have series. They have singles. You know, they have different times. They have all kinds of them, right? Find whichever one you want. Let's say you like noob one. Click on it. Okay, boom. And you can see the difference here is this one doesn't have a description and it doesn't have anything like any information about it. It does say virtual box, so that's good. It at least gives you that. But there's no other information. So you might have difficulty figuring that one out if it's actually harder. Now, huge, 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 huge caveat here. These boxes are not vetted. What I mean by that is when they're uploaded, nobody's going and making sure that these are safe and secure, okay? 
So keep that in mind. Try to run these, if you have possible, run them on an isolated network because these are not vetted. So these machines could potentially have malware on them. That's potentially. So make sure you have the proper tools in place to prevent you from getting attacked. I don't, I will say this, I don't see it very often and my dryer is going to go off and it's going to keep going up. But, um, so I don't see it very often where people are getting attacked on here or anything like that. I'm not saying this is a common theme that you should watch out for. This is a very good resource and very good tool. You can see you have resources and it's telling you how to build the VMs, how to do all this stuff. So it's really good resources in general. Vuln Hub is an amazing resource that's been around for a long time and it's really nice. But just be prepared to vet everything. So let's go through the process. So you find the one you want. Got it. We got Django 1.01, right? We download it. Cool. We've got the difficulty. Easy. Cool. The secret to this box is enumeration. And he actually has his email in there to um, reach out if you have any issues or questions. So that's really good. That's nice. Um, and you can see this works best with VirtualBox rather than VMware. Cool. So that's good to know. And then here's another big thing. So you have the, the hash. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download it. Some of them will be zip files. Some of them will not. Um, verify the hash. Validate it. Because you want to make sure that what you're downloading is what you're getting. So that's first. Okay. Once you validate the hash, go ahead and open it in. And you can see I just downloaded it. There it is. Let's go ahead and open it in VirtualBox. So we've opened it up in VirtualBox. Now this is how you know it's a decent one too. You notice he put right here the IP address. Okay. That is very, very helpful. It sounds silly, but I'll tell you it's extremely helpful because when you start these machines up, most of them, you don't know the password. So you have to try to figure it out, right? You have to try and figure out how to get into it. Well, if you don't know the IP address, you now have to either run a full in map scan on your, or you have to know your DHCP lease and you can actually do it that way. But either way, you have to run a uh, discovery scan and figure out what DHCP lease it got, what IP address it has. You could do it other ways. I, I just log into my router and wait for it to pop up. And I mean, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. But the point is, if you really wanted it to um, be helpful, just put it right there. And that's what he did. He did a great job with that. So now there's the IP address that we have for it. So now we just go over to our VMware Parrot OS. And you can see right there. I went ahead and I've already ran my in-map scan for it to show you guys. And look, it's got an FTP server and it's got an Apache server. And if you go to the actual website here, you can see the actual site right there is up and running. You hit site and boom, you've got grayscale, a free response, blah, blah, blah. And you can see it's a very general generic uh, thing, but you can tell if you go here, they've left a lot of clues already. They've given you all kinds of um, version numbers and all that stuff. So you can see already you're getting a pretty good sense of how this box is going to play out. And it's already a simple box. But that is what's so cool about Vulnhub is, yes, it's this is a simple box. You can get hard boxes. You can get complex boxes. You can get whatever you're looking for. But again, without having to pay. You don't have to pay. You don't have to log in. I don't even think I logged into anything. Um, and you can see there's all kinds of them. It's an awesome tool. It's something that I've know a lot of people, um, especially in other countries that don't have the, the resources that we have, always reach out and say, hey, what do I do if, if I'm trying to learn hacking, but I don't have the money to throw at Try Hack Me? Because yes, 35 bucks a month or whatever it is, isn't a lot, but it is to some people and that's okay. So we have free resources like this. We have them, okay? The other really cool thing is if you are a more experienced person, you can start making your own boxes and submitting them and then have people download them. So let's say you do have a community like our community, right? We have an opportunity here where we can submit machines that we like and have other people try and break into them, right? That's a lot of fun because it allows them to download them and then not have to worry about it. And you don't have to manage any cloud wherever you're going to store it. So let me know if this is something you guys will do. If it's something you guys like, I think it's an awesome, awesome tool. It's been around for a while, but it's not something that a lot of people use. And I think it should be utilized more. So make sure you guys are checking it out. Make sure you guys have fun. And if you guys like this content again, please like subscribe. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.